When the dark sky of summer fades away and the shiny sky of autumn appears, children of Galan, Galan Kurajita, inhabitants of the land of Sipa and Dalo, descendants of the Tsuliman Oromo, come together at the nearby river to perform the Wakfenna tradition. Women sing Mario and men Gabisa Gio. As they play these songs, they assemble at the nearby river where the Irecha ritual is executed. People of every village come together at this water place. They forward to each other best wishes at this place during the Irecha ritual and give blessings while they carry on olive grasses. People say to each other, Ulata ki, huk ubaki, meaning, take this, take the olive green grass, take it, as they get across desires. The son of Galan will come, Mitu will come, Wajitu will come, the nine sons of Huru will come, Diramu will come, and all the clans will come to this place. People pray the new year to be a time of plenty, abundance and prosperity. Power has no place to reside. It is you, God, who have the power, say the people of the land of Birbirsa, Siba, Mandalo, during the occasion of Irecha ceremony, their hands being full of olive green grasses. Elders speak the name of today's Holeta town was derived from Hulata, meaning take the olive green grass, a symbol of magnificence or prosperity. <laughs> Centuries before, at this same place, Holeta River, people used to gather to offer blessings and forward to each other New Year wishes. The latter is a green grass. It is the one with which the people honor each other. From this tradition, the name Holeta emerged. The Oromo never give names devoid of motives. Moderate climate comfortable to live and varieties of soil ideal for development activities and elegant distribution of vegetation and few among the several natural resources that the land of Siba Mandalo today's Holeta harbors. It seems to have been fascinated by its natural endowments when the expansionist force of Menelik II erected its imperial palace. Subsequently, Holeta emerged as town following its formation as an imperial seat in 1894 Ethiopian calendar. It was a land to toil and prosper, a land of which traditional Oromo religious practices were performed. However, later in the course of history, it became a settlement of palace for the imperial soldiers and its name changed into Holeta Gennet its meaning equivalent to Garden of Aden. According to the information received from Holeta Town Administration, after 50 years of establishment or emergence of as urban center in 1948, Holeta was officially given status of a town. In 1969, the town was clustered into four abeles with limited public services available with huge commitment to serving the imperial mission. During those times, the town and development were kept apart. Holeta is situated 30 kilometers away from the capital Addis and 81 kilometers from Ambo. Today, this town has received considerable attention from the Oromia regional government and consequently became one of the major towns which were included in urban reform program as per the proclamation. Furthermore, the town is currently administered under the special Oromia zone surrounding Fenfine. Public services such as electricity, telecommunication, health services, education, transport services and clean water supplies are vital for the development of a town. For these basic facilities were fulfilled, research in institutions are emerging and investment is booming in the area. Due to its climate and landscape suitable for agriculture and industry, Holeta Town is able to attract investors. Quick and easy provision of basic facilities provided by the town administration to investors is welcoming. According to a report from Oromia Institutes of Urban Planning 2007, 
Holata town is placed on 5,550 hectares of land. Oromo and other ethnic and religious groups harmoniously reside in the town. As commented by the business community, its suitability for both living and investment and its closeness to the capital city makes Holata preferable. For this and other reasons, both the rate of investment and population growth is increasing. Public facilities are vital for collective securities, investment potentialities and development options. They are helpful to bring rapid transformation to the town. The evergreen land found within Holeta border and surrounding areas makes the town suitable for human and other living organisms. The Holeta town administration has also demarcated and protected forest area within the town and this has given the town a green look and helped to maintain balanced ecosystem. Our town is covered by 17 hectares of forest land. Rivers are flowing in every direction and you'll find hillsides and mountains here and there. I think our town is a home of, for a balanced ecosystem. Investors may take part in this sector and the public could also benefit from this. With regard to health services, there is only one public health center and much needs to be done in the future. In the health sector, the coverage is not promising. If investors are encouraged to participate in this field, they will highly benefit from it while considerably serving the public.